already. <laughs> where are you where are you gonna sit? Are you gonna put your leg around the I think your leg goes in front. Yeah, I see it. You might have a lot of space on your left side. Yeah, my Hello everyone, welcome. Thank you so much for coming. It's a beautiful day. It is. We are here today in solidarity with the people fighting for freedom and justice in Palestine. We are also here to bring together some climate people with the Palestine people, with the No Pipelines people, with the anti-Zionist Jewish people. We are all here today together because we are fighting the same fight today. That's right, yeah. Let's, let's have a big cheer for fighting the same fight. That's the only way we're going to win. So today, the Israeli military is invading Rafa, um, funded by our tax dollars. Um, these tax dollars continue to flow to weapons despite our fights across the country on campuses. They're being used to kill innocent Palestinians and also to subsidize the fossil fuel industry. Our tax dollars are doing work while we're not looking. And among all of the other ways to fight this fight, we have to say, stop using our money for the wrong thing. Right? The government is supposed to work for us. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Our movements often approach tipping points at the same time, whether that's in the 60s with college campuses, with the civil rights movement, the anti-war movement, and the environmental movement. Right now, we're breezing past climate tipping points, and we're also reaching a critical tipping point as a movement for climate justice, for racial justice, for freedom for Palestinians, for land justice, all of these fights are coming to a head and we must keep up the energy. So the way we do that is we come together and we give ourselves the courage we need to continue. So that's why we're having this, this multi-issue bike ride on this beautiful day. Yeah. I'm gonna hand over to Dan to do some bike ride logistics and a little bit more about why we're here. Um, we will get rolling in just a couple of minutes. And thanks for your patience while we say words. We'll be back soon. a lot of stuff, so the Palestine flag should be one of them. Hold a hand for Lena, who stepped up to lead the ride yesterday. Uh, my name is Dan Castrogano. Um, I was hurt yesterday. Um, so I can't join you on the bike ride, um, and I'm bummed, but this is an awesome crowd, um, and it's awesome to see so many people here. This was initially organized um, for the city council meeting today. Um, it's like a climate ride and climate rally, and when the UVM and, and Camden went up, we knew we had to pivot and join in solidarity uh, for a free Palestine and bring the climate folks and all the folks together to go join the encampment this evening and bring some energy and bring some numbers. So that's why we're here tonight. I usually speak off the cuff, but I did write some things down. Um, we're fighting against a lot of things, and we're fighting against the same things, um, and we have to stand in solidarity with each other um, as Israel is committing a genocide in Gaza. Um, I was arrested for the first time a couple of weeks ago protesting private jets in Massachusetts. Um, yeah, and 20 of us were arrested. They want to expand this private jet airfield by 300%. Um, that was my first time being zip-tied, and the zip-ties were so tight that I thought I had permanent nerve damage in my hands and wrists for a few days and sought medical advice um, and experienced police brutality uh, firsthand for the first time um, and just want to connect that experience with uh, the policing that we are seeing on campuses across the country with the over policing and the militarization of police around the country um, and uh, basically this over-policing and this militarization of the police and police brutality is the same fight that climate activists are fighting. It's the same fight that we are fighting as more than 2,300 people, 2,300 students have been arrested in this country, um, which is a restriction of free speech and a restriction of the First Amendment. And we're seeing us slide into fascism, right? Restriction of free speech, restriction of the, uh, of the free press. Um, and it's time for climate people and people who consider themselves climate activists or environmentalists to step up and to join the fight for a free Palestine and against apartheid in Israel and against genocide in Palestine. Yeah. 
Um, Biden is sending tens of billions of dollars to Israel to fund genocide, and he wants to hire another 100,000 cops across the country. Um, we could be spending this money on Green New, Green New Deal style uh, spending, high-speed rail, weatherization, climate-neutral housing for everyone. Instead, our tax dollars are funding death. Um, the U.S. military is the single most polluting non-country entity on the planet. If it were a country, it would rank 47th most polluting in the world, outranking most countries on Earth. And this is just reported fuel use alone and doesn't consider all of the other emissions and environmental costs of this polluting death juggernaut. Um, this is one struggle against the fossil fuel industry, the profiteering warmongers, corrupt politicians, bloated police budgets, militarized cops, fascism, wealth inequality, factory farming, and the fantasy of endless economic growth instead of housing, jobs, food, water, and peace for all. Yeah, woo. Um, so thank you very much for coming out. Um, we've got a few notes on the ride, on keeping us safe. Um, I'll share a couple. The flags that are on the big sticks, those are borrowed from the Vermont Coalition for Palestinian Liberation. Um, I won't be riding, but I'll be up in the encampment. When we get there, if those could all be collected, that would be great. The ones that are not on the sticks are mine. Um, if those could be collected, I'll collect those at the end as well. Um, I'll pass back to Lena for some logistics, and then we'll head out. Thanks, Dan, for your leadership, even without one knee. Um, so we're going to head out this way in just a moment. This is a no-drop ride. We're going to move at a pace that's comfortable for all of us. Um, keep an eye out. We're going to be riding in a group on a street, many streets with cars. Um, so just keep super aware of your surroundings. Look out for your friends. Um, if you have a mechanical issue, feel free to flag down someone from the ride, and we can we can keep buddies together. Um, we have a couple of folks in neon vests. Um, we're all going to be doing our best to keep cars out of our way. If you have experience blocking traffic, or if you're excited to block traffic, please feel free to do so. Um, we keep us safe. This is not a permitted ride. Nobody's going to be, you know, making sure that drivers are super responsible and kind. Um, so just please keep your eyes open. We're going to be making a bunch of turns. Since we're riding around rush hour, we don't want any scary drivers hanging out behind us for too many blocks. So lots of, lots of zigzagging um, and also to minimize the hill. So it's a bit of a kooky route, um, but we're going to do our best and have a good time. Um, and we'll have some music. What am I missing? Great. <laughs> um, there should be lots of food at the encampment um, that some other people are organizing. Um, and then when we get there, there is um, an event happening as well. Um, so please like plug in, chat with organizers. Um, these two guys are going to be sweeps at the very back. So if you have a mechanical issue, can you raise your hands, fellas? Um, one of them at least will stay with you to make sure you're safe or can help you fix your bike and will be um, sweeping in the back to make sure that everybody is safe. We will be heading out that way. Lena will be running point. Have a great time. See you at the top.
up. This is for alums, this is for future students, this is for the people of Palestine. This is all of our fight and that is why we are all here right now. I know that y'all are going into finals week and the ground's getting muddy and things get weird after a few days and it matters every single day that you show up, that you show up, we are needed, we cannot stop, we cannot rest. People in power are never gonna look out for us unless we force them to. Whether that is the leadership of UVM, the leadership in City Hall, in our State House, in the White House, these are not people who are gonna serve us unless we force them to, and that includes not sending another nickel, another dime to Israel. This bike ride was originally conceived of as a climate bike ride. It is an everything bike ride. These fights are connected. They will never be disconnected, and we have to keep connecting them. Thank you to every single one of you for taking time on this beautiful afternoon to come out in solidarity with the students of UVM, the people of Palestine, the taxpayers of Burlington, and all of the people of this world who want to see land return to its rightful stewards, our money doing all the good things. Land back. Land back. Land back. All right, I'm gonna get off the mic. If anybody else would like to speak, this is a moment and a movement for all of us. Thank you for coming. Please stay, please do not go away. If you're looking to get involved in organizing in Burlington, talk to your friends, talk to the people next to you, come talk to me, go talk to Dan on crutches. Um, talk, to the, talk to your friends, talk to the students. Um, we have a lot, to, a lot of work to do together um, and we're only gonna be able to do it together. Thank you all. Hi. You all hear me? Yeah. Cool. I just want to say, for those of you who are losing hope, for those of you who see the, the potential insurmountability of the crises that are going on in Palestine, across the world, don't be. Oh Throughout the last couple centuries, just, just in the United States, by the way, <laughs> millions of people have gathered together and fought the systems that be and every time they were opposed, every time they were shut down. But in the end, they won. Woo! Woo! This, uh, this is with the labor rights movements of all across the United States history. This is with the queer rights movement in the 1960s. This is with the disability rights movements. This is with so many movements. And this will also be one of the movements that, that succeeds. Woo! I'd like to thank you all for all the work you are doing in resisting UVM's funding of Israel and really just pushing for them to stop their funding of Israel, divest from Israeli apartheid, and ultimately just work for a better better world in general. I don't know what else to say. Um, if anyone else wants to make a phone, I don't know what else to say. I didn't plan this, but thank you all. Thank you all for coming. This is what makes us strong, is all of us linking arms, no matter if we're students, if we're residents, if we're community members, if we're staff, if we're faculty, all of us, all of our collective energy is needed, and this right here is what will deliver us victory. So thank you all for coming. The time is 6.02 right now, and uh, 
We are waiting on the professor to begin our uh, next thing of the day, uh, which is uh, some reading of uh, Palestinian plays. So I encourage everyone who's here to stick around for that and uh, talk to uh, talk to the students, talk to monkeys amongst each other, and continue to build this collective unity that we are that is fully on display right now. Thank you all for coming. Um, thank you. If you have flags that have a big pole on them, can they come over here? I'll collect those and return those to VCPL. And then the flags without a pole. So two piles over here would be really appreciated. Um, and nice and loud. Free, free Palestine! Free, free Palestine! Free, free Palestine! Free, free Palestine! Long live Palestine! Thank you all for coming. We really appreciate it. Yo, it means yeah. a lot. Thank you. Come on into the camp. Hi, we are honored to have the, as a member of the encampment, we are honored to have this sort of community support. This, the, the support from the Broward Burlington community is truly, has been essential for keeping this encampment going. And I truly cannot thank the people of Burlington enough for supporting EVM students. So right now we are at the end of our bicycle uh, race joining us here from Battery Park. And we, as you can see, have a ton of posters laid out, um, most of which are made of cardboard. With all the rain, they have gotten pretty destroyed, but with the integrity we have, we put them back all out, let the sun dry them. Um, art is a huge piece of this encampment, all of us sharing our creativity and what we have to offer for display here. Um, it seems to reach people better than words sometimes, so we really take priority in art here and uh, offer space for anybody who wants to to create something um, in solidarity for this movement. And I also just want to thank all of the bicycle, uh, the bike riders who came here today. That was super awesome. I wasn't sure how many there were going to be, um, but there's quite there's quite a few, and they're all hanging out here now with us which is super awesome. And it's all about community and union, uh, union within the community and reaching out to the broader community. And so being able to see a physical example of that has been really nice today in the great sunshine. So thank you everyone for coming out and all are welcome. We got some water, we got some snacks. If anyone needs it, feel free to stop by. It's all love here. Uh, free Palestine. Uh, hi, my name is uh, Max Abrams. I'm a UVM student here. I'm also a big part of the Jewish life on campus. Um, I work directly with Hillel, um, and I've been coming out to the encampment uh, for the past couple days, just kind of watching, seeing what happens. Um, I've kind of been here since day one, watching it all unfold. Uh, when I first came here, it was, it was pretty small, um, nothing too big. Um, however, as it progressively got bigger and bigger, I started having uh, and noticing a lot more issues with it. Um, there came um, a lot of racism that came with the people at the encampment. Um, some people shouted uh, racial remarks um, at both minors and adults alike. Um, someone shouted at a Moroccan kid to go back to Europe. Um, an elderly man named Wafik Fao shouted at my friend, um, who's a Syrian-Israeli Jew, uh, to first go back to Poland and then go back to Russia, uh, two places where his family have never been before. Um, as well, there have been troubling states, uh, statements made, including globalize the intifada and have a student intifada, um, which essentially calls for the death of the Jews or for people to ride and be violent against Jews. Um, as well, there is a uh, drive going around from SJP um, that has been leaked, uh, telling people how to militarize themselves um, and having a lot of stuff saying basically kill colonizers uh, and kill the people in power. 
Um, but that's kind of the global stuff. Thankfully, it hasn't been too violent here right now. Um, though personally, as a Jew on campus, I am pretty terrified, uh, both by the encampment and by the people in the encampment. Um, a lot of them have said very nasty things uh, to both Jews and non-Jews alike. Um, so I'm just kind of here waiting for people to ask me questions. Um, unless you're a media spokesperson, they don't really allow you to ask questions, which it makes it very hard to have these kind of really in-depth, very much needed conversations to really understand both sides. It leads into a lot of polarization, um, which I don't fully understand. Because to the best of my knowledge, I'm a Zionist. I'm also pro-Palestinian. Most Zionists agree with people at the encampment, and most Zionists are also Palestinian, or Palestinian, pro-Palestinian. Um, so there's also for me a lot of confusion based around the lack of, um, you know, who is coming to talk to me, um, and who really is comfortable saying what. So my name is James. Uh, I'm here at the Palestine Solidarity Encampment at the University of Vermont. We are on day eight of camping out here. We are one of over 100 encampments around the country and around the world who uh, are full of students who are rising up to demand that their administrations end their complicity in genocide through their uh, board of trustees money, their endowment money that is uh, tied up in weapons manufacturers and companies that are complicit in the occupation of Palestine. And uh, we came here last Sunday at around 2 p.m. And uh, we uh, set up camp. We began with about 15 tents. And since then, that has grown to about 91 tents. And uh, more and more students are joining us and rallying around five demands that we have, which is the disclosure of all financial information in the $800 million endowment pool of UVM, the divestment of um, all investments in uh, weapons companies, Israeli companies, and companies complicit in the occupation of Palestine, um, a academic boycott of Israeli institutions by the university, uh, the cancellation of Linda Thomas-Greenfield as the 2024 commencement speaker, and a guarantee of amnesty for all student protesters and a uh, guarantee of no charges for students engaged in protests for a free Palestine. We are... Uh, happy with uh, the fact that our fourth demand, the cancellation of Linda Thomas Greenfield was met by the university. They capitulated on, I believe, Friday and announced that Linda Thomas Greenfield will not be joining campus for commencement. Since then, though, the university has uh, implemented some disciplinary proceedings against student protesters, which uh, risks has risked jeopardizing the prospect of a negotiated solution to this encampment. Because uh, so far, the university has been pressured against using police violence um, against the encampment, as we have seen at other campuses across the country. And they have... Um, repeatedly claimed they do not want that, ha that to happen, but as of right now, they are jeopardizing the path to any other solution. Um, so we are continuing to push for more negotiations, more conversation, and uh, for the university to listen to its students, to its student body, and um, do what is right. Because we have broad support in this encampment, the uh, vast, vast majority of the student body is behind us, including Jewish students, Muslim students, Christian students, students of uh, all identities. Uh, we received enormous support from community organizations like the Vermont Coalition for Palestinian Liberation, like Jewish Voice for Peace, and uh, People's Kitchen, Food Not Cops. The entire community is rallying around this. And there is enormous support from the faculty and staff as well. And within the unionized faculty and staff, we are now seeing the emergence of Palestine Solidarity Caucuses within the unions. And uh, this whole encampment has spurred people into action and created a wave of momentum that is not going to let any up anytime soon. Um, I would say... I've been doing this kind of movement work for about six years, and uh, those kind of accusations have uh, always came and gone. Um, past a certain point, people in the movement, in this encampment and beyond, learn not to take a lot of it in good faith. Um, we think that there's a lot of weaponization of fear from people with certain political agendas. Um, and uh, obviously if there is discrimination or racism within the movement, we do take sincere efforts to root it out. 
but for the most part, a lot of it is fear-mongering by Zionists. And I think, um, as I said earlier, there are a lot of Jewish students in the encampment. We have received a lot of support from Jewish organizations, community members, staff, and faculty. And um, they have all described this as a very welcoming space and a space where uh, even parts of their identity are affirmed in ways that are not affirmed anywhere else. So. Um, I would reject any accusations that this is a place of hate or division or um, danger. I think the fact that um, people come right up to the encampment to talk about how afraid they are of the encampment speaks for itself. Hello, my name's Theo and I'm, I support the students. I'm happy that there was a, a, a bicycle rally today in support of these brave students uh, who are um, taking risk together. Um, they're using their freedom of speech and freedom of assembly to, um, to protest, to win uh, di di uh, disclosing and divesting. Um, and, and they already won uh, Linda Thomas-Greenfield being um, canceled, um, being unwelcomed from speaking at commencement, which makes a lot of sense to me. And uh, yeah. I think the next thing is for the labor movement to support these students. Uh, I don't understand why we have 900 military bases all around the world. Um, that's our taxpayer dollars, um, and that's money that could go into housing, health care, and social services. So it's my hope that um, rank and file unionized workers will um, petition their elected labor leadership um, to support the students and to get organized so that we can have um, a more powerful labor movement that um, helps out the working class, not just in this country, but in other countries around the world. Because I think workers have a lot of things in common. And I think we all want peace. We, we want, um, and we want good jobs and so that's some of the reasons why I support the students and uh, it was just beautiful weather to be out here today riding bikes having fun having laughs getting to know each other and um, it's a good thing <laughs>